Hey y'all, welcome to Miss Clark's chemistry class. I've got the second video for lab procedures. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to light the Bunsen burner. We're gonna use a striker. We're not going to use matches or a lighter. A striker, I promise you can do it. I'm also going to teach you how to adjust all these different nozzles on the Bunsen burner so you can get the fire as big as you want it and you can make it as hot as you would like. You're still gonna probably need some paper and something to write with because I'm gonna ask you to make a couple of sketches. So go get that stuff and let's get started. We are going to uh, connect the hose to the gas valve and we're ready to light the Bunsen burner. We are going to turn on the gas at a 45 degree angle. I can hear the gas. I see that there's too much air, so I'm going to decrease the air a little bit and try to light it again. And now the flame is on. I am going to adjust the gas valve. I am going to decrease it so it's only about 25 uh, degree angle and I'm going to increase it so it's about a 90 degree angle. We can see that 90 degrees is the most gas entering uh, the Bunsen burner while the 25 degrees uh, is very little gas entering. Describe how the flame looks different when you adjust the gas valve. So next we're going to close the vent completely. Don't worry, this barrel should not be hot. If it's very hot, then something's wrong with your Bunsen burner. Make sure and let your teacher know. So I'm going to close the barrel so you can see what happens. Also, I want you to describe the appearance of the flame when the air vents are closed. Okay, this is called a safety flame. And this is the coolest flame that a Bunsen burner can produce. So now let me open the vent some more. As I'm twisting, you might even hear the flame start to make different sounds as oxygen is entering into the air valve. And then I've opened my valve until I get this roaring blue flame where I can clearly see an inner cone and an outer cone. Here's the inner cone and the outer cone. This is the kind of fire that we will be using for chemistry. This is the hottest fire that the Bunsen burners can produce when you have the roaring blue flame. Sketch the burner flame as it looks with the air vents open. Label the inner cone, outer cone, and the base of the flame. Indicate the colors present in the flame. Here's the chemical equation for the combustion of propane. That's what we're doing. We're combusting propane. That's how we're getting this fire. Propane, C3H8. Propane is the gas coming out of the jets. Now write this equation down because I'm about to ask you a question. Okay, here's your question. Do your best to write out the chemical equation in words. I already gave you propane. And then explain why the lack of air causes a flame with a lower temperature, okay? Think about that. Okay guys, as you start going into the lab and lighting your Bunsen burners with these strikers, I'm just gonna be real honest with you. It does take a little bit of practice, but you can do it. Don't give up. It's all about applying that pressure down and across at the same time. Also, don't be afraid to adjust your fire on your Bunsen burner to get that nice, hot, roaring blue fire. Every chemistry teacher is going to be looking for that. Okay, make sure you stay tuned. The next video in this series is all about where in the fire is the hottest part. That's really important for chemistry. We need to know what portion of the flame is the hottest. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, bye y'all.